Well, this here is not a good way to start the day. I'm supposed to take this empty trailer here to go pick up a load, and it has a broken door hinge. So, uh, right her up. So, good day and greetings. Welcome to Tuesday, December the 6th, 2022. I am currently here in Camillus, New York, and uh, I don't need that right now. And I came over here to pick up a load that was going to Mahoopany, Pennsylvania, but apparently the load has been canceled, and they do have other loads here to pick up. But apparently my mission for the day has changed and now I'm off to Saratoga Springs, New York to pick up a load that is going to Cranberry, New Jersey, which I will take down to HQ. I just go where they tell me and do what is asked of me to do. I'm still in the uh, 2021 Mac Anthem Bulldog Day Cab. This is a uh, real hard truck to shift. <laughs> Basically, you put your foot on the brake and you push the D button and you go. And when you want to back up, you put your foot on the brake and you hit reverse. Or R and you go. It's a good time. And of course, I took a little time this morning to uh, clean the windshield here because it's pretty dirty. And uh, I have a new uh, new way of doing that, especially once it gets colder. I was talking with a uh, another driver that works here about cleaning windows, and I was telling him how in the winter time it's a pain in the butt because when you use Windex, the Windex freezes. And he was telling me how he uses windshield washer fluid to wash his windows when it gets cold outside. So he just sprays the window washer fluid on there and squeegees it off, which makes sense because, I mean, that's what you do at a truck stop. Usually all they have in there is just window washer fluid. You know, you, you dip the squeegee on the pole in there and you scrub your windows and you squeegee them off. So I uh, gave that a shot this morning, which is part of the reason why I needed a funnel the other day because I bought a spray bottle and thought I was going to need the funnel for the spray bottle. That I ended up not needing the funnel because the spray bottle that I got has a uh, wide opening. So the whole uh, mission for the funnel was kind of uh, pointless. I went looking for a funnel for no reason. But uh, I ended up getting a funnel yesterday. Yesterday I, uh, <laughs> yesterday was, uh, one of those days where uh, I really wasn't focused to do my job and uh, was a little under the weather and I uh, I lost my wallet so on top of being a little under the weather and feeling unfocused I had to take care of getting stuff situated with uh, my license and my debit card and all that stuff one positive thing that came out yesterday is uh, while I was getting my new debit card at my credit union, I talked to them about getting a uh, credit card consolidation loan. So now the three credit cards that I have that I have maxed out are now paid off. And instead of paying around 900 bucks a month for the next 20 or 30 years, I have a reasonable uh, rate to pay for the next five years for the amount that I borrowed. And that's something I would rather do than what I was doing. Plus it gives me uh, some extra money a month to budget with, which is good because uh, I need to start saving up so I can get a bigger place. And uh, that's the most important thing right, right now is to uh, get out of the little shoebox that I'm looking in. Get some more space. Hopping on I-90 East. Looks like 
looks like they've got some construction going on here on the, uh, the ramp. This will be a good time. Always nice and smooth on this ramp. So, <laughs> the cord, the battery in this camera is pretty much uh, shot. And the only way that it'll work is to hook it up to a battery charger and plug it into a 12 volt port. And uh, I do have another battery for the camera, but it's in a box somewhere packed away. So I had to keep it plugged in in order to use it because I've been using this camera, I think now since uh, 2004. 2015 I think I got this camera Maybe it was 2016 anyway so the basically the battery's worn out and I have to keep it plugged in and in order to keep it on the back window back there the cord that I have was just long enough to reach the uh, 12 volt plug or port and uh, <laughs> I hit a bump and the cord came undone and the camera shut down so I figured I just put it back up here on the uh, front to uh, finish filming for it today. I do have a, uh, a longer cord that I can hook up to it, like an extension cord. I just don't have, have it with me today. So, I-90 East, this is the uh, parking area that is between Verona and Westmoreland. And uh, I'm going to get back on the road here. Making it happen. Like I always do. Exit 27, I-90 eastbound. This is the uh, exit for Amsterdam, New York. are tolls by mail. They'll find you. All they need is your plate number. They'll get you one way or another. Ooh, I got the arrows. Sweet. Ahead. 
They've been doing construction uh, here for a while now. This is uh, Route 30 North. And I'm going to Saratoga Springs. Probably need to see a chiropractor after traveling this road. Well, they've been working on this bridge here. Looks like they've almost got it done. Looks like they also changed the uh, traffic pattern a little bit. Used to be two lanes, it appears to be one. Now, all over the bridge. So there's two ways I could do this to get to Saratoga Springs. I can stay straight on Route 30 and take that up to Route 29 East which will take me into Saratoga Springs, but it will bring me out into downtown Saratoga, where it can be a little congested and not always tractor trailer friendly. Or I can hop on to Route 67 East here in the right lane and take that up to Route 50, which will take me through Balsam Spa. And Route 50 will bring me to the road that I need to go on to to make my pickup. So I'm going to take the quicker way, which is 67 East to Route 50. It's uh, more tractor trailer friendly. And it'll basically bring me right to where I need to go without having to go through uh, downtown Saratoga Springs. Which is a really nice city, it's a nice community, a lot of tourism goes through there. Like I said, it's not exactly uh, tractor trailer friendly through there. Especially coming off of Route 29 trying to make a right turn off of there. Old Smokey! I bet you that's what he calls that truck. tight through there between the curb and uh, the other lane, but got her done. So this is uh, Route 67 East, rolling through Amsterdam, New York. So it's a good time rolling through here. Here is 25. Big yellowish green, bright, high definition, whatever you want to call it. The high visibility, that's what I was looking for. Sign points that this is the truck route. And coming up ahead is a school zone. 15 miles per hour is what they request. So I'll get down to 15 because uh, you don't want to get a speed ticket in a school zone. That's a, uh, not only is it a no-no, but it's a pretty good fine speeding in a school zone. And some extra points on your license or things of that nature. Actually, both of those trucks are pretty nice. 
Someday I might get to drive a nice truck like that. It could happen. End of school zone, back up to 25. Following the truck route signs. Bunch of Chewy Mach 45. Rumble strips. Rolling into Boston Spa, New York. A village of friends. That's what the sign says. I have, uh, I have filmed through this village a couple times in different vlogs in the past. like it's so like gloomy today I mean for me it feels like a Monday because I took yesterday off but I don't know just kind of gloomy I don't really want to say dreadful This is uh, Milton Avenue, also known as State Route 50 North. Let you take me into Saratoga Springs. Uh, looks like they have some wreaths up on the street lights. I'm sure when it's dark and it's all lit up, it looks pretty festive. That guy's holding up that pole to make sure it doesn't fall over. These are lit up here, these decorations. Must be somebody forgot to shut them off, or uh, maybe somebody didn't pay the power bill on the other side. I don't know. Anything's possible nowadays. Well, this has to be the Monday is Tuesday that I've had in quite some time. They um, they sent me up here to Saratoga Springs to 
pick up a load to take down to HQ. That load has not been loaded yet because they didn't have an empty trailer for it, so I'm doing a live load. And we have two loaded trailers sitting here right now that are waiting to be picked up that haven't been picked up yet, but they send me in for the one that hasn't been loaded yet. This happens all the time, by the way, so I'm kind of used to it. And uh, the shipper told me it'd probably be a couple hours before uh, it would be loaded, so I'm just hanging out here and uh, getting loaded. This here is the Master Blaster Wide Mouth High Output Sprayer. I have it full of windshield washer fluid, and I believe I was talking about this in a previous clip. And I thought I was going to need a funnel for this, but uh, the opening here is pretty wide, so there's no funnel required. And that is just a, uh, a really good way to clean the outside of the windows in the wintertime when the temperatures drop. And uh, I might even continue to do that in warmer weather, instead of sitting there with the wind decks and paper towels and scrubbing all the dead bugs and all that off of there. Well, we'll see how that goes once things get warmer. So this is a uh, fruit cup from my lunch that my sister uh, prepared for me. She's still helping me out with my lunches here. I buy her the stuff and she's been preparing for it. And it's greatly appreciated. I really have no idea what that green fruit is though. I don't know. I don't know, I'm sure it's fine, but uh, I don't know. Not sure what that little green fruit is, but uh, it's pretty tasty. It's not too bad. That green fruit, the mystery has been solved. It was kiwi. I've never had kiwi. And I liked it. I liked it a lot. Oh, yes, I did. All loaded up out here in Saratoga Springs. The original plan was to take this down to HQ. I have six and a half hours left on the old DOT clock. And after a discussion with the powers that be, it has come to the conclusion that I won't have enough time to get down there, drop this, and pick something up to take back to Syracuse with the time I have left. So therefore, I'm just going to take this load back to Syracus and drop it. That's the plan, man. That is the plan. On this beautiful, rainy, one day feeling Tuesday. State Route 50 southbound and down Boston Spa, New York. Got a light rain falling. According to the thermometer on the outside of the uh, Bulldog Anthem here, it is 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Snapple. Oh, I haven't had a Snapple in a long time. That was some good stuff. I used to like the Snapple lemonade and the pink lemonade. And there was another flavor they had that I liked. I can't remember which one it was. It was like one of those ones that was like a mixed flavor deal. I think it was like a limited time thing, so it wasn't out all the time. I didn't even know they still made Snapple. Don't really see it around a lot. That or I just don't pay attention.
That comes back to that line, I'm so broke I can't afford to pay attention. <laughs> Maybe I need a raise so I can pay attention to see if Snapple is still in the market. I probably couldn't drink it anyway. It probably has a lot of sugar or carbs or something in there I'm not supposed to have. Well, I mean, I could have it in moderation. Got to behave. Going up a pretty good incline here. Old dogs aren't a fan of hills at all. I'm gonna jump back onto uh, Route 67. I believe it would be west. Take that back into Amsterdam and hop on the old New York State Thruway and cruise on back to Syracuse. I like that paint job on that Peterbilt. That's pretty cool. Very seasonable for the time of year. That paint job. Alright, this is 67 westbound and down. Load it up and truck you. This is that awesome turn I took uh, a few clips ago. It says 35, they uh, kind of mean it. Especially in a big truck. back through Amsterdam. I think he was waving to uh, the guy over the gas pump. I don't think he was waving to me. right out there. A long, long time ago, I used to deliver to the company that was in this building, and they have another plant that's a couple blocks up. Can't remember the name of it, it's all been changed now. I don't think they're in business anymore. But it was a uh, big deal around here, I believe. Oh. Nice and smooth, as always.
where I want to be. Construction is done on here. It was uh, kind of a pain in the butt, and they really didn't leave you much room to uh, get through here with a big truck between all their barriers and their cones and all their equipment. Amsterdam. Adios. I got the green arrow. I'm not talking about the superhero on the WB network. La 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 la. Wanna be in this lane? Hopping back on the old New York State Thruway, I-90, westbound and down. Much better. Much better. Always do a tug test. 
you get out of the truck for a few minutes because uh, you never know when some prank's just gonna walk by and pull your uh, fifth wheel open. I've never had it happen to me, but I have seen it done a couple times over the years, and uh, it's not fun. Well, for the driver's got to crank the trailer back up. It's not fun. All right, getting back out on the highway. About 95 miles to Syracuse. Ooh, another Kenworth uh, cab over. That was nice. Anchor. done for the day out here in Syracuse. Just getting some gas so I can make it home. I'll make it back to work tomorrow for the next couple days. I prefer to get my gas out here in Syracuse because it's literally like 20 cents a gallon cheaper out here than it is back home. So I take care of that here. So that's going to do it for this video. I'll catch y'all later. Y'all have a good one, eh? I'm out of here.